Yo ho and welcome back to another review for yet another new show of this wonderful, wonderful spring season. And it's a show that I really enjoyed the first season, I enjoyed the second season a bit more. I didn't really enjoy most of the not really existent third season. And here I enjoyed the episode zero of season four, aka kind of a flashback episode of what happened during the previous season and or at least up until that point for a brief part from Issei becoming a devil and then the big fight in Born and then seeing the Great Red um, talking to Wally. So yeah, much to my surprise, I actually enjoy the new character design. And the quality of the animation so far in this episode, I think if I remember correctly, it's quite a bit higher than in the previous one, so yeah, props to this. It's still your harem action fan service show, but I really have to say that even though this is pretty much what you get here, it's so much more and we have a huge cast of characters from the main characters to support characters to side characters to comic reliefs and yeah a huge cast of characters and most of them are well they're pretty cool characters so yeah and I really have to go back and read the light novels because I've read them so long ago. And maybe I should reread starting episode 9, which is probably. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure they are going to adapt a volume 9 and 10 in this season. So. Yeah, I'm going back and read them so that I can move nicely along and refresh my memories about it. Because like I've said, it's been quite a while since I've read them. But yeah, High School DD. Seriously, the fan service is pretty over the top. The other thing is, it's the type of fan service I enjoy. And for once, Issei isn't really a character who gets a harem and doesn't even know what the fuck is happening. For fuck's sake, he is one of the very few main characters who are actively trying to have one. So that's a huge difference between Issei compared to pretty much everyone else. And like I said, this episode is a review or a flashback to what happened most of the time in the previous season. So not really talking too much about it, more about it in general and kind of the new style. So yeah, a huge difference between the main characters to other harem type series. And another type of the fan service is usually it's not that the protagonist gets the beating the shit out of him for seeing a girl naked. Hell, even the girls are trying to seduce him in a pretty affecting way. So yeah, it's really the. Well, a different type of fan service, I would say. You usually see, compared to the protagonist falls into the lap of a girl or 
walks into the changing room and gets beaten up by them. Yeah, not really what you're into with either, but like I said, the fan service is pretty much over the top, but it's a good type of fan service. It's the one that I actually like the most. And with a huge cast of characters, it makes it really enjoyable and I can't wait for more Koneko because she's she's just pure love. I really have to say this. She's really just pure love. But with this story I like pretty much all of the female characters. I just wish that the Staten Council president would join. <laughs> yeah. It's it, it's tough, you know. You you have a huge cast of characters and then you want other characters to have more screen time because you really like them for one reason or another. It's yeah, it's just the type of show and story this is. Yeah. But man, I'm I really enjoyed watching this flashback. Because it looked pretty nice. And like I've said, we have a new art style. Mainly because this fourth season is produced by a new animation studio. It's not TNK anymore who did the previous three seasons. But now I think it's Passiona if I remember correctly, so yeah. And I really hope we will get back to the two volumes per season adaptation style, because it gives the story, the characters, so much more time to develop in a way. And yeah, character development and action fan service harem usually doesn't go hand in hand, but to be honest, Having read, I don't know, how many volumes did I read? 19? 20? I, I don't really remember. But over the span of these volumes, the development for characters, not only the main ones and first evilish characters, getting friendship beaten by Issei and then being like best buddies. Now, over the span of a good number of volumes, they developed their characters. It was Issei who started to care for his friends and the ones he loved. And to the point that Spoiler, spoiler, and spoiler. He's going out of his way to do pretty much everything he can do to keep them safe and to make them happy. Seriously, this is one of the biggest things in this series that Issei is really trying hard to make all the girls happy around him. And not only the girls, also the one best buddy dude who has what I imagine is quite a good number of female fans in the real world as well. So yeah, and usually for Arm you have a couple of side male characters who doesn't get a lot of attention. But here, for example, we have Kiba, who had some really, really great scenes in the novel. When we had his backstory rolled up and even when he became the point of view character in volume 12, I believe. Yeah, it should be volume 12. Man. 
that was freaking amazing. So, not only do we have a main character who is a good main character and for your action harem fan service type of show, you you have really good side characters as well and hey, Kiba is actually a really good character and the way he developed throughout the novel series it's freaking amazing and the bromance going on between them is basically JD and Turk in anime in a harem series but it works for fuck's sake it works it works really well and seeing them back on television or now on streaming service because yeah we don't really have that show on tv it's so nice and i'm really looking forward to especially because volume 10 will get some really good development and relationships so we should get it by the end of this season and i hope with this new studio doing High School DD Hero, the fourth season, I really hope we don't have to wait years and years and years for future seasons. Because usually or often fan service is selling quite well and I can see this show selling quite well so that they can continue doing anime adaptations because they are selling and they can do sell even more merchandise and novels as well so you, you know what how is that working right but yeah all in all i really enjoyed this flashback episode and i'm even more fired up to see the beginning of the episode one next week which brings us to Kyoto, which will give us a fox girl! Woohoo! We need them. We really need them. But yeah, really fired up and I will enjoy it. So yeah. And I have to repeat myself again here. The new character design looks nice. Hands down, it looks nice and the characters, especially the girls, they're looking cuter and hotter as well. God damn it. My dirty mind. My dirty old man mind. But yeah, all in all, I'm talking for way too long once again. So yeah, old habits die hard. I try to focus more on the actual stuff that happened in the next episode. So yeah. See ya then. As always, thanks for watching. So. Hope I will see you guys next time as well. Bye-bye!